Hey there, this is the Opinionated Alchemist and uh, this is my first video. So um, I have like two new sodas which I want to try and this is actually this one. This is um, East Imperial and this is Yuzu Tonic and this one, this is uh, Grapefruit Tonic. I, ha I haven't had them actually before, so let's try it together. Okay, first one, grapefruit. Uh, East Imperial, I had actually the original East Imperial and this is um, glorious for cocktails because it's less sugar and less acidity. So if you use lemon and if you're using uh, sugar in a cocktail, it's not overly sweet and acidic. So let's, let's try actually the grapefruit. It has a really strong grapefruit uh, aroma, like a citrus, but very grapefruity. Grapefruit peel, maybe a little bit um, pomelo. Mmm, yeah. Tastes a little bit like detergent <laughs> with grapefruit flavor. I think it's quite nice. Um, nothing against detergent. Yeah, not too bad, I would say. I think with tequila or anything like that, even with uh, gin, um, which is more citrusy, would be quite nice. Okay, next one is the user one. Use is very interesting. Very often it tastes quite um, artificial. So, it's much weaker actually in the aroma you don't have you have a faint uh, citrus smell but not as strong as the grapefruit I smell to be honest and it's the same glass and I smell still the grapefruit it has a faint user taste whatever <laughs> is uh, is uh, more like the the afterthought is yuzu. It has like some citrus aroma. It definitely doesn't taste as much as detergent. Yeah, it's quite nice. Uh, both are not as um, dry as the original East Imperial, but it's definitely uh, not as sweet as some other tonic waters. Not too bad. Okay. Let me get some gin and let's go um, ahead with uh, drinking with gin. So I get actually a couple of uh, spirits. Um, first of all, I have Sasch and Fritz. Um, it's German vodka. Uh, it's quite nice, actually. I, like, uh, I quite like it for vodka. I still don't believe, actually, that vodka is a great spirit. I still don't believe that there's actually, like, super premium vodkas and... Um, that they are much different than quality vodkas. But Sash and Fritz, a clean, nice uh, vodka. It's surprisingly sweet for something which is supposed to be not sweetened. Then I have um, one of my favorite gins, um, Plymouth Navy Strength, 57% alcohol. I mean, it's Plymouth, but for, man, um, just joking. You need, don't need as much gin to have a good and strong gin. Uh, and tonic. And then uh, something quite new, it's, uh, which I just tasted actually lately, it's uh, Portobello Road Gin number 171. Uh, this gin is, is also quite nice. Um, it's not earth uh, shattering, it's not actually super amazing um, uh, like the Navy Strength, because the Navy Strength, uh, just like the uh, the alcohol itself, is kind of like um, putting it apart. But um, but Portobello Road is a very nice balanced gin. Uh, I think actually there are warm spices which are a little bit supporting the juniper. Um, it's a good one. Okay, um, I have now two glasses with ice um, because um, it will be a little bit difficult to taste. Um, uh, with one glass. So let's start with the uh, Sasch and Fritz. I mean, vodka and tonic. Um, 
So let's use, um, what do I have more? Let's use the Yuzu, why not? Okay, I use a little bit uh, only uh, because the bottles are 150 ml. By the way, East Imperial does a very good job. The labels are very easy to remove. Uh, so uh, if you want to do actually cocktails in a bottle, this is the perfect tonic water uh, because after after you, you sold the tonic, you add a cocktail into it, you close it, and it's perfect. So uh, in 150 ml for a cocktail, it's quite good. So um, East Imperial does very well actually in the bottle size. It's an elegant small bottle. Now, this is Sasha and Fritz with Yuzu um, East Imperial. Yeah, woo. Um, nice. Um, the vodka is definitely in the foreground. Um, you have the graininess. I think Sasha and Fritz um, taste it with tonic water. I, 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 it's the first time that I drink it with tonic water, and it's much um, comes much more out. Like the the flavor comes much more out. Really nice. Um, you don't have so much of the yuzu. You didn't have a lot of yuzu before, so it's um, it's definitely a little bit more subdued, but it's nice and elegant. So let's uh, try the next one, uh, Portobello Road and uh, Grapefruit. Now this would be, is a little bit of wild card because Portobello Road is actually a gin, like I said, uh, which has a lot of um, like aromas or the character of warm spices and a grapefruit and warm spices as well. Grapefruit and cinnamon does work, but I don't know. So let's see. Boom, done. Uh, by the way, I don't use lime, I don't use lemon, just to not to um, change the whole dynamic, um, just to have like an objective um, taste actually out of the uh, combinations. Now this is good, you have the gin taste, really nice, um, well, I could drink that. To be honest, like the grapefruit flavor is a little bit artificial. I, I'm sure that East Imperial uses it uses uh, natural ingredients, but it just have like this um, kind of bubblegum grapefruit flavor. With the gin, it's much better, so no no complaints here. I think um, maybe I have enough actually to drink it actually with a little bit tequila, because uh, Paloma. Uh, is actually grapefruit soda and tequila and um, I think actually like this a grapefruit tonic is a little bit more grown up um, Paloma. Okay, let's do now the big boy, Navy Strength. We use actually Yuzu for the um, Plymouth Navy Strength. Unfortunately, the bottle is empty, so for tasting the small bottles are not perfect, but anyway For one drink, for double, actually, gin and tonic, it's 150 ml, it's definitely enough. Now, you still directly have the Plymouth. I just poured, I put it by hand, I'm not sure, but it's less than, I, I, I think it's like 25 ml only. Um, wow, I would need more soda, or more tonic. Uh, this is strong. It's good, it's good, definitely good. Um, I love this gin and tonic. You don't taste as much um, yuzu, but it's it's just good. It's a good gin and tonic. Now with a little bit grapefruit, or yuzu, or lemon, or calamansi, or mandarin, this would actually work really wonders. I would like this gin and tonic. It's a little bit different. Mm. No, give me a second, coming back with tequila. So I'm back. Um, unfortunately, I've seen actually that I drank too much tequila. My um, Jose Cuervo Reserva de la Familia Añejo, I anyway didn't want to drink Añejo, but the Blanco was anyway already um, finished before. And this is almost finished. You see that? Nothing. 
for a Paloma, anyway, it's anyway not uh, not really perfect actually to drink it with uh, Añejo. Uh, this is also Añejo, which is really nice. Um, I like Reserva de la Familia. Uh, so um, I found another puppy. This is a Joven Mezcal. It is 100% um, Agave Espadin, uh, Los Danzantes. Uh, I bought it actually in Italy. Uh, it's not here available in Dubai, but it's a kind of awesome. I had quite a lot of fun with that. Uh, so, oops, this should not happen. Anyway, uh, so mezcal is a little bit smokier than, uh, than tequila, but um, as we have a little bit more grown up uh, Paloma, because it's not uh, grapefruit soda, it's grapefruit tonic, I hope that it works. I just put a little bit in it. You see, actually, like uh, maybe 20 ml, uh, because my tonic water is also almost finished. So it's more or less like uh, one part to two parts, um, which is supposed to be enough. So let's try that. Here we are. Cheers. Um, it's quite interesting, actually. The grapefruit is just transforming. It just uh, smells quite interesting. Wow, wow, it tastes smoky. Um, I, until now, I had always this mezcal actually just, just as shots, sipping usually, but sometimes shots. Um, now, uh, the smokiness was not that pronounced. Now it tastes like coal fire. It's just really smoky. Uh, the grapefruit is very, very um, under control now, but I'm not sure if it's a little bit too smoky. Yeah, it's smoky. Needs some sweetness. I, um, you have to make actually a, a mixed drink out of it. Not only like a mezcal and tonic. Maybe you have to add like some, some sherry to it, like some medium sherry, which gives a little bit sweetness. But you can work with that. It's, it's a really interesting drink. So yeah, I, I would definitely give it a go. I would definitely uh, go on actually working with that. We just have to wait for a proper mezcal, actually, in Dubai. Um, so, um, there we are, actually, like these two tonics. Like, I think, actually, they are, like, uh, good good tonic waters. I cannot really, like, uh, say anything very negative about it. The grapefruit is a little bit too upfront. I think it tastes a little bit like detergent, like I said. I don't mean it in a bad way. Um, it's, it's a unique tonic water, go for it, um, try it, if you see it. Um, use a tonic, is a little bit more subdued, um, it's uh, a little bit more delicate. I actually like it, uh, it's not too much yuzu, so if you make a, tonic, uh, a cocktail out of it, uh, definitely add actually yuzu juice or any other yuzu flavoring. Um, but it's it's actually nice. East Imperial is on the on the right way, making unique tonic waters, not always the same. It's, um, so that's about me. This was my first video. I hope uh, I hope that you enjoyed it. Um, I'm sh I know actually the quality is not good. Uh, uh, I I recorded it on a PC uh, on my Mac. Um, I know I have to improve. I know I know I know. Um, just uh, um, tell me in the comments if you enjoyed it, what you want to see. Um, please also visit me on um, opinionated-alchemist.blogspot.com. This is my website and I talk quite a lot about uh, mixology. Thank you uh, for tuning in. Um, thank you so much for giving me a like. Just if you would like, just subscribe. And um, tell me actually in the comments what you would like to see. That's it for me. Sayonara. See you soon. And thank you very much.